Welcome to part two of the programming series for Crestron Fusion. This is the second video in a series of four designed to provide programmers the tools needed to integrate various hardware components into Crestron Fusion. Part two will cover the basic layout of the Crestron Fusion web interface. This will include adding a node, adding a room by discovering a processor, and viewing the basic information of the Crestron Fusion website. The Crestron Fusion team has provided a document that provides detailed step-by-step -step directions for setting up the Crestron Fusion web interface. It includes many different aspects of various configuration possibilities as well as how to add and configure users. The document can be found on the Crestron Fusion homepage, www.crestron.com fusion. We will go through quickly adding a node and then discovering a processor that will add a room to the node. Nodes are organizational folders to provide ease of development and security functions. Adding and or modifying structure within the Crestron Fusion web interface must be completed by the setup page. Notice the orange setup title in the upper right corner of the page. The black rectangular window just to the left of the setup button expands to show the navigation options for the web page. Click the open button to view the various links to the other pages. In the web interface, you will notice that the organizational structure has been started, with the root node being labeled Crestron, a node underneath Crestron labeled USA, and a node for New Jersey. I will now add a node for the Plano office in Texas. First, click on the node that is the hierarchical parent to the new node, which in this case is USA. In the window to the right, click the Add button and select Node. I'm going to name it Plano and enter the state, city, and street information. And then click Save and Close. We can verify the information by double clicking on the new node. Now we will discover the processor that we have in the Plano office. Be sure the Plano node has been selected. Then press the symbol Discover button and enter the IP address or the host name for the processor. Note that you can enter a range of IP addresses if there are multiple processors to be discovered in the same node. The Crestron Toolbox backend in the server will reach out to the specific address and attempt to pull it into the Crestron Fusion system. You will either get a success or a failure. Note that the processor slash room is now visible in the Plano node. If I open the room properties, notice that the time zone matches the Plano node value, and the address is auto-populated with the information from the node. There are a few reasons that a symbol discover could fail. CTP has been disabled on the processor. This will create a timeout error in the results section. The current firmware has this disabled by default for security purposes. Crestron Toolbox is not installed on the Crestron Fusion server. This will lead to you getting error, error in the results section. The correct ports are not open between the server and the processor. The .rvi file is corrupt or missing. Open File Manager in Crestron Toolbox. Open the simple folder and then the app01 folder. It should be there. This file can be sent to your computer to open it. The RVI file is created when one compiles a simple Windows program with a Crestron Fusion room included in the programming. It is automatically loaded to the processor when the program is loaded. This has been part two of the programming series for Crestron Fusion. Thank you.